I was saying, as I have been saying all along, you, you know if you're watching the show that I absolutely love the movie Dune, which arrives in theaters tomorrow, directed by Denis Villeneuve. It's an awe-inspiring, big and beautiful movie with incredible performances from a truly amazing cast. But tonight, I get to discuss the film with Zendaya and Paul Atreides himself, Timothy Chalamet. But I want you to die with honor. This Chris knife was given to me by my great aunt. It's made from a tooth of Shai Halud, the great sandworm. This will be a great honor for you to die holding it. Where's the outworlder? Jonas is a good fighter. He won't let you suffer. Now, I was so excited to talk to Timothy and Zendaya that when I found out they couldn't get to New York City, I didn't care. Instead, I agreed to meet them on neutral territory the planet Arrakis. Jim? Hello? Timothy? Zendaya? Is there anybody here? Does anyone have anything they'd like to promote? Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks so much for uh, meeting me out here on Arrakis, Dune, Desert Planet. Yeah, thank you. Your two characters, I was going to say you're a couple, but you're not really. You're, you're really sort of almost like spiritual partners, the, these two <laughs> characters. And it's completely believable. You guys have extraordinary chemistry with each other. Did you guys know each other before you shot this film? I think we first really met when uh, we had a chemistry read together. What is a chemistry <laughs> read? Educate me. How, how would you? How it's would you just a, uh, it's like when someone who's usually already cast uh, reads with other actors to see if there is a chemistry that uh, would uh, ensue. <laughs> ensue to <laughs> thus cast. <laughs> to thus cast the film, the film. correctly. <laughs> well, you know, when Zendaya came in, she just uh, she just crushed it. She is Chani. She's one of my favorite parts of this movie. Uh, yes, like, not to give anything away, but Jason Momoa is in our film too. He plays Duncan Idaho, and Zendaya and Jason Momoa they're my favorite parts. I think they totally Jason blow everyone me. away on screen. And, and, uh, and I'm sure that Oscar Isaac and Rebecca Ferguson won't be offended at all. They're feeling no, not really at all. Or Josh Brolin, or Stellan Skarsgård, or <laughs> Javier Bardem, just to name a few. Timothy says you walked in and immediately felt it. What was it like for you, the chemistry read? Well, I was I was on the more nervous side of things. He already had the job, you know, and, and I was walking into a room where uh, I knew Denny would be and I knew he would be. And uh, I'm obviously a fan uh, of both of their work and have admired the, you know, just like consistent, beautiful, you know, work that they've continued to put out over the years. And so. Yeah, I was nervous. <laughs> Obviously, Didn't I was you nervous. Did you just have surgery or something? Yeah, <laughs> and I just, I just had my wisdom teeth taken out, so I had like this, this fear because it was like the week before, right? And I was like, it takes a while, right? I didn't know how much I was gonna, like, my face was gonna swell, so I was like, that's gonna be a thing, right? Did you still have cotton have packed face. in your? Did you still have cotton packed in your sockets or anything? <laughs> Thankfully, it was gone by then, but I did have this fear that I was gonna get dry socket, right? What and is dry socket? It's. I don't know, What's but it's... What's dry socket? Do you know what that is, Steven? I think it's an infection in the, where they've <laughs> taken the wisdom teeth out. You get an infection, and evidently, it's the most painful thing imaginable. But I was afraid of getting dry socket, and one of the things that says is going to make your mouth stink, right? And that was my oh. biggest fear, is like, if I get this, this dry socket thing, and I had this ho what if I had this horrible breath, and I come to meet him, and we have, like, these, you know, intimate scenes between Chani and Paul, and he's just meeting me, and my breath is just reeking. Oh. That would be like, that was like my biggest fear, but it didn't happen. And here we are. If this isn't too personal of a question, do you have to kiss in a chemistry read? No. 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 All right. No! 
<laughs> no. <laughs> All right. But. <laughs> I don't know. But you just got to be up in somebody's grill. You know, you got to be in their sure. face. So I was, I was definitely yeah, afraid that that would happen. Timothy, oh, is it true that you said a Google alert for Dune when you yes. heard the movie was being made? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes. <laughs> okay. I was dreaming of working with Denis like any actor would because he's one of the best directors out there. I had auditioned for a part in Prisoners, hadn't gotten it. I should uh, get over my bitterness about that, <laughs> but for some reason, Didn't get uh, it. I uh, can't help it. No, but um, yeah, and, and once I heard that he was working on it, actually, I knew that Legendary, the studio, had the rights to Dune. It was actually another actor my age that told me about it. He was also going up for it, and he said, I think, I actually think this is a good one for you. And, um, and then I had a Google alert on it to see what the casting progression was like, you know. And <laughs> I saw Denis at like a, in 2018, 2017 at some things, and I'd always try to put myself in front of him, exclusively, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just try to inception my way into his brain. How familiar were both of you with uh, the book? I remember being at Midtown Comics on 40th and 7th when I was like 10 getting some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> and I remember seeing a graphic novel of Dune that would have obviously not been the original version, but I remember that's where the seed was planted. Uh, Zendaya, had you read the book before? Kind of similar to, to you, before the, the um the film kind of came around. I, I didn't know much about it, but I heard that it was it was happening, and I heard you were doing it, and I heard Denny was doing it, and I was like, this is, sounds like a dream. Then I was talking to my mom about it, and she was like, yeah, that's one of your grandfather's favorite books. He like had, had all of them. So I was like, oh, okay. That's why I know why this seems so familiar to me. So um, yeah, that I thought that was really cool that it kind of came full circle in that way. It's hard to express the feeling when one of my favorite books I'm learning is one of your grandfather's favorite books. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was hoping well, you were going to say was... father. I was really hoping no, you were no, going to no, say no, father. No, but... no, no, no. He, he was older when it came out. He okay. wasn't. He wasn't. Good. He wasn't very young. Um, but he he loved the book, which I feel like many people do. We'll be right back with more Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya.